guys, have you caught on to the miniature and fairy gardening craze? It's huge and it's so much fun and perfect for beginners. Let me give you a tour of two of my creations. The first one is a fairy garden. It's whimsical. It's got a beautiful little stone cottage with a succulent roof. Now the second one I like to think of as kind of a zen retreat. It's very minimal and I use stuff that I found around the garden. I have here a lantern that was hanging on my tree. That's what this is and it broke. So I said, okay, you're gonna be used like a little conservatory. Now that we have some inspiration, I'm gonna teach you how to create a miniature landscape and then I'm gonna coach new gardeners, Ari and Emma, on their first fairy garden. So let's get started. What you wanna consider for a miniature landscape is this. You are creating a setting, a dream landscape. So some of the elements that you need to consider are your planter, but just consider the placement and they are meant to be seen up close. That's the beauty of them. So we're gonna start with a themed miniature landscape. This one's called The Shepherd. I'm using a few different elements. So I have already my soil. The first thing you wanna do is put the big elements in. So I'm gonna start by framing. Now I am going to set my next large object, which is my arbor. Then I'm gonna place another fence panel. Then I'm gonna take my little grass here, put that in. This is now a rose that I'm gonna train up the arbor. I like to use these inexpensive roses from the supermarket or somebody gives it to you. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie our rose onto the arbor. Without using too many plants, I am going to take a dianthus, a pink dianthus, and I'm gonna plant it in front of the picket fence. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. So I have baby tears, and as you can see, I've already cut half of the roots. Don't be afraid to do this, because this is a very shallow rooted plant, and it works great as ground cover. Something you wanna keep in mind when you're using a ground cover, like to simulate lawn, always select low growing plants, like baby tears or sedums, things that creep. So I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit of moss, because again, we don't wanna see the soil. Oh, look how cute! Ta-da! Wow, what is this? Okay, so are you two ready for your first fairy garden? Yeah, I mean, we look like we're ready. Oh man, you guys are inspired. Okay, let's give our fairy first a place to live. Um, this orb. I, you could live here as a fairy. I love I that. Live here. And this is just a grapevine orb that we cut out in the front so that there's access in there. Okay, first thing we need to do is let's line the fairy's orb with some moss. Also adding moss to an orb like this, it gives it a lot more definition. All right, so we have a home now. Okay, now we need some plants. It looks yes. a little bit sad. <laughs> Let's start with some of the lower growing plants. We can cut oh, right, some of the root. It. it doesn't have to be this thick. Yeah, okay. I saw you kind of tearing it. Can I just like tear yeah, it? Yeah, tear it. So Ari, I would say make a little divot here for about this size. Just push the soil out so that... It takes, so it just takes them out and just throw it here? Yeah, you can do that. And then go ahead and place that in there. Australian AstroTurf, this is cool. cool. This is only gonna grow Whoa. about three inches tall. It feels like AstroTurf. Yeah. And you know what, this is fun to do with kids. Oh, for or sure. Or get your girlfriends together if you're gonna do holiday gifts. Let's move this along, okay, great. Let's plant that. How about one more over here? Great. You can have the honors. Turn it, always turn it around like this. Mm -hmm. You don't want to grab the plant. Okay, have the honors. So you'd want to get plants that all have the same yes. reaction to sun. Okay, let's turn it around, show everybody what, what we've got going. Looking good. We've got a few plants here that drape over the side. 
Take your pick. Oh. Stone crop or the wire vine. Mm. What you do you like? like? The wire vine, right? Wire vine? Yeah. Does that look? It's a little more like of the forest. It does it's look like, kind oh, of foresty. This just happened by itself. Mm. Okay. This can actually go right in <gasps> here. Yes. And Great. plant it through the grape vine hole. Ooh, that was a good touch. Yes. That's a nice touch. Okay, wow. you see how we're getting there? Now we need accessories. These little fences, oh. little gazing balls. Look at these fairies. Okay, that looks awesome, but we're not done until we have fairy lights. Whoa. Stop it. Check this out. Woo. That's on. amazing. All you do is tuck it in. One, One two, three. three.